Hello everybody, we're back in Fallout 4. Um, last off, last time, sorry, um, we were traveling here with Paladin Dance to Arctic Systems uh, to do the do, so let's do the things that need the doing. Excellent. Ah, there you are, Dance. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Ah. Come on in, dog meat. What are you doing? Pretty crap, look at all this. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Do they have any stuff I can steal? That's what I want to know. Ah, security terminal. Jury time! Security concerns. From Thomas Reinhardt, CEO, to all security personnel. I'd like to have your team get together and implement a new security strategy for the Arctic Complex. This is our first contact with the USSA, and I don't intend to have any security slip-ups while we are working on the XMB booster engine. I want you to double the coverage on 24 hours a day, and install the automated countermeasures inside the facility. I'd also like you to hire a consultant to figure out a better security password system for our terminals. The automated reset timer mailing out passwords is ridiculous. Ooh, that, I guess. Starts. From Sam Brent, the security lead to all Arctic employees. Starting tomorrow, we'll be distributing our diversification badges to all employees. These badges must be worn at all times. They are infused with a low-yield radioactive isotope that will prevent our internal security turrets from accidentally shooting any of our own employees. If anyone is caught near the entrance to the engine core without a badge, we are not liable for the injuries you may sustain. The turrets will go online in one week, so I suggest you all sign up for your badge as soon as possible. Wow, that's pretty fucking brutal, to be honest. Maybe we should pick up one of these badges. Engine core or something. Thomas Reinhardt again to Sam Brent. Sam, what the hell is going on down there? How did a member of the press get all the way past security through the entire research facility and into the engine core without being tripping? Uh, sorry, without tripping our alarm or turrets. We have a real mess on our hands, and it's going to be your job to clean it up. I don't care how you do it; just make it go away. If this can, if this comes back to bite us, I swear you're going to be the w one that takes the fall. Okay, so he's, he's pretty ruthless. Protect prong control. Error. Protect prong unit absent or damaged. Okay. <laughs> Choose personality mode. Medical responder. Okay. Alright, well let's um, get rid of all that and uh, see what's going on. I mean, most of these things are fucking broke as shit anyway, so... We'll have a sneaky beaky look around. Anything in here? Surgical scalpels. Why do people keep scalpels in their desk? I mean, what are these people doing? Need scalpels. Perhaps they're like just, you know, casually assembling some like Warhammer or something. You know, having little tournaments. Or dodging lasers, because they forgot to wear all their uh Badges, though it turns out that they're uh, they're a bit useless, so I doubt they needed them anyway. Right. What is uh ah? Noise. The cockroaches that I can hear. We're just dripping water. Oh god. Uh. Lock it. All right, let's let's use this. Okay, password security, automated password change. This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, the suspension of network privileges, and or disciplinary action. Please do your part in keeping Arctic systems secure. Okay, sure. Automate Arctic lab password. According to our records, your terminal password has not been changed for three months. For security purposes, your password will now be reset. Your new password is 9YB3N. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Wow, so even in the far future, they still have shitty automated messages. Nice. Uh, we can't open that. Maybe it's locked on the other side, and that's actually the exit. Technically, I suppose, a, a mini dungeon. Where did I come in? And where have I got to go? 
Um, did I just wander down into the wrong place? There's also a light bulb that I want. Anything in here? Right. Oh, terminal. And an architect work well, too. An alarm clock? Oh, this is what I need the password for. Okay. Cool. Lab security. Security door control. Okay, lab controls. It's also all this way. Unable to establish a connection to the prototype. These is that the engine or is it something a little bit more sinister? Open the door. Hey, it's busy. Nice work. And Victoria! Oh my god! Holy crap. <laughs> Fucking Terminator! Holy shit! Yeah, you fucking know Tango down. Holy crap, what are these? Institute pistols. Holy shit, is this the Institute? Have they been here or something? A shock baton. Oh, there's, there's two dudes here. He's got the shock baton. And he has as well, fusion cell. Already got. Holy crap. Detected. Curious. God. Oh really? Is someone Jesus Christ. Dance, what's wrong with you? I'm trying to steal all the things. Cause some trouble. Can we take this? Holy shit! What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck just happened there? Pipe pistol though. Another piece of shit, so I won't bother with that. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, blow torch. I'll take that. Have a quick look around. Don't need to read decks. Already, already read all that sort of stuff. Already done the homework. Scalpels, because feel from those, which would be great for when we do some more upgrades. Fancy hairbrush. So we can uh, continue to look splendid with our uh, probably toupee. I don't even remember what my character looks like, but whatever. This fan. Okay. All right, where's dance? All right, we'll take that. Oh, we've got to, got to find out the password, haven't we? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got that one now. Um, quickly check up here. Got a shotgun. It's all loaded. Log in. Uh, security door will open. Cool. Oh. Right, fucking let's take deal with these joker ass fucking dance. Paladin, dance? Can you mind not fucking blowing this entire place to pieces, please? This time. Can you do that? You have one job. No, apparently not. Oh, better save. Holy shit! I'm like, super fucking dead now. Whatever the fuck that was, hurt like goddamn balls. My fucking weapons. Oh, nice one, dog meat. Ah, there it is. Oh, just a bit. Fucking. Holy shit. Automatic Institute pistol. Take one of those. Bunch of fusion cells. 
more fusion cells. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, we've got... Look at that. Fuck it. It is Terminator. Oh, we can unlock this. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Damn right, that was nice. Most of the facility. Uh, yeah. Oh, vacuum tube. Create ourselves a nice uh, amplifier with that, I think. Put on a good old rock show. Holy shit. Oh, it's a trash can. Yeah. Oh, it's another stealth boy. Yeah, perhaps, um... Uh, what is that? A toy alien? A toy rocket ship. Amazing. Yeah, perhaps Death Lab it, you know? It's probably like a Terminator version of them. They'll probably be up for playing a couple of gigs or whatever. And that'd be quite cool. Ooh, Tesla science. Hell yeah. Energy weapons permanently increase. Inflict 5% more critical damage. I will take that. Thank you. Dios. Terminal. Okay. Mars shop project notes. That's a lot of notes. After six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars shop project's propulsion and communication system. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we had secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, but we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put ArcJet on the map. Ooh, sounds like a shady businessman. Got this. I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory McClellan to the XMB booster team today. There are a few people who can match Mr. Dr. McClellan's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems, so this truly was a coup. It cost the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him anyway for his military contracting job, but I'm sure it will be well worth every dollar. We've promised the USSA that the booster will be ready for at least a year before their July 2078 launch date. With Dr. McClellan at the helm, we should be able to meet their deadline with time to spare. Sounds good. Thanks. So. As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened to Arctic Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now, with the XMB booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, Arctic appears to have received a second chance. Thanks to Dr. McClellan, we're on a sick schedule for and under budget. The USSA is thrilled with our progress and is already talking to me about future contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending this year on a better note. So they're doing all right then. Dr. McClellan has informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll help find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get to sleep t at night. Oh, so it's all going wrong. USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shop project in Arctic Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I've fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know what we're in, we're delivering the XMB booster so they can take it to the uh, pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McClellan solves our weight problem soon, or we're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. Oh, shit. They're going to be doing some dodgy shit then, I suppose. I can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. And uh, I'm sceptical. We scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMP boosters for us test firing in the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot their pictures through the thermoglass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. 
the engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. Is it going to fry all the press? I hope it does. It's been two weeks since the accident. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we go. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB boosters test firing event. Somehow, a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours earlier. Dr. McLennan was running a quick test on the booster, lefting it, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burn the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent taking care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down and I might as well put a for sale sign out front. Well, I doubt anybody will want to buy it, to be honest. After that, daily business and all. All of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Mars shot project. They're telling me they have, may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. That was the last one. So obviously the uh, the bombs fell not, not far after that. Not, yeah. So, wow. Okay, dog tags. Take those. Thanks. Car box, gold watch, because gold and springs and stuff. Anything at the desk? No. 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 Uh, let's see what we can open. We can go down there. There's dance over there. Something down here. <gasps> oh, safe. Ah, fuck. How did I manage to do that? Seriously. Fucking novice lock. Holy shit. Yes. Nice. Lots of rounds. Gold watch. Low side heavy. Ah, fuck that. I don't want it. Dave. Oh yeah, me. Uh, oh, that's just an ashtray. Oh. Oh, what's this? Repair department terminal. Uh, is this hacking? Ah, oh, shit. I am not very good at this. Aside from the, the stupid little cheat. Not cheat, but like advanced hacking stuff. Oh, there's one. Uh, there's another. Oh, shit. Another. Another one there. Yep. No, no, that doesn't count. Okay. Okay. So, um, likeness of zero. Wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, not join, it's not tank. Oh, sorry, it's not join, it's not weak. And we're locked out. Brilliant. Fucking dog meat, what are you doing? Terminals locked me out. Fuck you then. God, is I hope that's Paladin Dance. Well, I don't know what that terminal was all about. So, I'm just gonna fucking not bother. Apparently that was where the shootout was. Okay now. Like a cola. Dinner fork. There's not a lot in these places, you know? Not, not a huge amount. I don't know what cigarettes are for either. Aside from like smoking, just being junk. But I don't know if it could be used for like uh, cloth. And I like how I... Wow, Haxel. Um, free war money is used. Okay, so... 
a stuck picture frame. I'll take that. Ah. Um, something here. Overdue book. Good to know. The shower room. Okay. You're gonna be a dead guy on the toilets. These hands in here. More fucking movement. Ah, oh, there's no dead guy. But there is a bobby pin box in here. Ah. This room. Okay. But Mentats. Nice. Wouldn't you, mate? So I'm guessing dance went down there. We're not busy. We're not done stealing all the things. See? I bought this aluminium canister. Would you chod really? Let's be honest. What take? Yeah, fantastic. Can I not jump up there? Ah, there we go. Holy crap, look at this. Can I open the hatch? Is that for being like sneaky and stuff? Because there's like no point in being sneaky. Everybody here. Oh, I found this room though. Oh, safe. Come on, come on. There we go. Sweet. Oh, it is. Take all of that stuff, thank you. Receptionist terminal. You know them? Oh, you need a fucking password. Wiped. No. Deal. Uh, fuck you. Oh, there was a dead guy in the elevator. Took too many mentats. Fried his brain. Know what I'm saying? Ah, yes. Do I jumped up? Okay. Very nice. Don't know where Dance has gone, though. There he is. Cool. Do another save. Anything up here? Oh, enemies. The engine? Yes. Connecting rod. Holy shit. Wow, okay, so we've uh looks like the elevator's dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. Find a way to get the facility's power back online. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Uh yep. Look at this place. Scribes are Fucking scribes, fucking scrubs. Fucking hope that has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Oh my god, you're in the fucking power armor. Why can't you do it? Oop, I was out, yeah. Okay. Holy shit! Why would you do that? Jesus Christ. Well, at least we can go all sneaky beaky you now. Junk jet. Nice. Oh. Oh. Press R to load items into the junk jet. Uh, oh, yeah. Because, um,. Get to fire just random shit that you pick up that's junk at people and kill them with it. Amazing. So, uh, is it a misc? We've got a bunch of um, stuff that we can listen to as well. Uh, some like logs. Oh, jet work log. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's 
on, isn't it? <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. Got it, got it. Oh, fucking out. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. Engine core power restored. All right. Sorry. Thermal. Oh, shit. Fucking... Engine. That's it. What's her face is? Primed and standing by for your command. How about? Oh, I can't shoot through the window. Push everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking know. Right. Oh, they're all fucking dead. Oh my god. Aim for the weak spots, and what might they be? You know, just saying. Holy crap, no! Oh shit, I nearly died. Well, at least fucking dance is cleaning up in here. Uh, what weapon were they using? It was an institute thing? Institute pistol, wasn't it? Oh, we had an automatic one, though. Give that one a blast. Oh, look at that. Okay. Looks like we've secured the core. Let's head up to the control room. Uh, yeah, sure. I just uh, need to collect a whole ton of ammo. Ooh. Wow, so much ammo. All much. Uh, where are we going now? What did you, what did you say? Ah, uh, yes. Obviously got to go. I, I want to go down though. Ooh. Um. Hold up. Hostile sensor reading detected. God. Is someone present? Not getting past me. Where the fuck are they? They're up there somewhere. Hello, dog meat. Oh, there he is. They may have been after the transmitter as well. Sure. Um, what's that? Institute rifle. I'll take one of those. Deep range transmitter. Let's oh. get out of here. 
Oh, that's what I needed. Um. Yeah. Not before I'm done stealing everything, though. No. Don't know if you realised. There's a lot of shit to steal. La 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 la. La la. Oh, shit. That, that thirst. Thirst. This. Um, so is it just a computer down there that we need to read? Oh yeah, big one. Engine core central control. Begin the test fire. Well, it's been detected in relay 0x094. Please contact the engine core facilities supervisor for repairs. Manual operation will still be possible from the facilities officer office on the lower level. Ah, so I could have fired it off but I can't be able to go all the way back down so let's find this elevator which is just over there and get the shit out of Dodge this thing's gonna crash you know dance oh shit Stop doing that with your terrible texture at work do 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 where's the music Weird. Oh, there we go. Nice one, mate. The bunker Mini. looks clear. Let's move out. Uh, no. A Bunsen burner. Dog meat found something. Nice. It's actually going to be useful. All right, where are you and what did you find? Uh, nice one. Uh, found vodka and a 10 mil pistol. GG. It's mac and cheese. Okay. You can keep that to yourself, Doc. Alright. Uh what do you want would you want us to do now? Dance? You just want Dance? Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. <laughs> you were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Uh, I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. Okay. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May Ooh. it serve you well in battle. Why, thank you. Righteous authority. Critical shots do double damage and the critical meter feels 15% faster. I'll take that, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Civilian, what are you fucking on about? As far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Yep. I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Short. Good arms. We did the business. We're gonna be a part of the Brotherhood of fucking Steel. You hear that dog meat? Where are you? Probably pissed pissing somebody off. Semper and Victor, return to Cambridge Police Station. Oh my god, radiation. Right. Before I um, get irradiated to death, um, I'm going to end the episode here. I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, share with your friends if you thought it was good. Oh, that's why. Ah, fuck. Um, and um, yeah, every time you do, um, I actually get 
cured of radiation by one point, so you should probably do that and then I won't die. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again.